trying to get stuff there. Uh, it was a mess. I bought some, I bought a padlock, it didn't fit. So I had to buy another padlock that actually fit so I could lock the back of the truck. And this car in front of me is going so slow. There we go. I'm gonna pass this sucker. That's weird, I'm in a budget truck with a trailer towing my car and I have to pass somebody. <laughs> So yeah, I bought the padlock, didn't fit, had to go in and get another one. Came out here, uh, tried to hook up all my stuff, uh, my CD player, my GPS, and uh, something else I forget, it's plugged in. Oh, the radio transmitter. Anyway, so one of the plugs in, his, in, this, in the truck didn't work. So I had to go in and buy a, a, a plug splitter, a three-way splitter. So anyway, I'm boring the heck out of you. Anyway, I finally got out of here. I guess it was like just after 11 o'clock. And I'm heading to El Paso. Driving this huge truck that I've never driven anything this big before. It's ridiculous. Especially pulling the trailer. Oh! I accidentally left my rollerblades in my room. That sucks. Maybe they'll be able to mail them to me when I get there. Anyway. So yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. Just driving, driving all day. It's about probably seven hours of driving. Oh, I'm going way over. There we go. Probably seven hours or so of driving. I'm just kind of iffy about pulling in to get gas and stuff because I'm afraid I won't be able to pull out, you know? But I'll come to that crossroads when I get there. Check this out. Yeah, I just got into Fort Stockton. Texas and called budget truck place because anyway the tire blew out. I had no idea until I got here. So I finally got a hold of budget, talked to them, and they said about uh, 30 minutes to an hour they'll be here to fix that thing, that tire. Who knows how long I've been driving on that? It's pretty crazy. I am chilling at Fort Stockton and hoping to get this sucker fixed. It's supposed to look like that, you know, regular tire. I was driving on that. Just sidewall, rim. No big deal or anything. It's all good. Uh, I just have to say that driving through Texas. West Texas, it's got to be one of the most boring drives ever. There is absolutely nothing to look at. It is random hills and flat plains and brown and dead stuff. Thursday morning, I'm about to start my trek to Phoenix, Arizona. Hopefully it won't take too long. Had a good king-size bed last night in the hotel, which is I'm still in the hotel parking lot. You probably can't even see. But, just about to head out. Uh, it's like, uh, well, it's 9, almost 9.30. So... Let's hope I'll get there around five. Hopefully I'll get there around five. All right, I guess there's nothing to do now except start driving. Well, I gotta get gas first. I don't know if I said that yet. Anyway, yeah. Hey, what's up? It's Friday. Was today Friday? 
Yeah, today's Friday morning. I am in my hotel room. Here we go. About to head out to uh, LA today. It's going to be awesome. Uh, BJ won't be able to meet me until like 8 something tonight. So I have to figure out what to do between the time that I get there and the time he can actually meet me. So I think my plan is to park my huge truck and then uh, well, offload my car. And then from there, just you know, drive around with my GPS, find some wireless somewhere, some free wireless, and uh, figure out. You know, hang out in LA, do whatever I can find until he, he can meet me. That's the plan. So about six to eight hours of driving, depending on traffic. Hopefully less than, it's not the eight, but you never know. All right. So I got to finish packing up my stuff and getting out of here, and then uh, get some gas and start heading out. So that's the plan. I'm just driving along, and I just got to a whole ton. Windmills. They're like all over the place. It's crazy. It's pretty awesome. You know, kind of hard to do this and drive. Four lane, um, five, no, four lane uh, highway. Oh uh, crap, I'm going up there. Anyway, let's see if you can see the windmills. Oh, jeez. Concentrate. Movements I'm made it harder to the mountains. single individual. 